so it is final day here at Queenscliff. Uh, there's we've literally packed everything off the ground. That's where I was sleeping, and yeah, it's been a great camp. I'm going down to breakfast. So yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna have, but <coughs> hopefully pancakes. So we're on the beach, and yeah. This is our last day, so we're making it count, aren't we? I guess so. We're all really tired and stuff, so. Whoa. Nice. What's that? Oh, I see. What? Shut up, Will. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to video. It's a, it's a nice, um. My name's Will. <laughs> and my name is Peter. And I live I'm in Sheldon. a heater. <laughs> I'm Sheldon. Good for you. Good for you, Joel. who was in charge of the museum was a captain in the army. Now he'd work all day for the army, he'd come in here at night and study the history. He had a desk over in this corner with a lamp above. He'd been in here before and nothing had happened. But this particular night while he was in here, all of a sudden he got a shiver up his spine, the hair stood up on the back of his neck. Has that ever happened to you? Mm -hmm. He looked up and he was this shadowy person watching everything he was doing. Now he was a captain in the army, he didn't believe in ghosts, so he went outside, walked around for a while, took a few deep breaths, came back in, thought that's ridiculous, we don't have ghosts. He sat down and about 20 minutes later, he got the shiver again and he looked up and he was this person watching him again. Well, with that, he was really scared. He took off, he locked everything up. He went to the yeah. army the next day and said, it's very unstable in at that keep. I want everything moved out and no one is to go in there. <laughs> so the army boys came in, moved everything out. And no one came in here for eight full years, yeah? Then we got a new curator. She got an engineer in, they checked it out. He said, it's okay, so we came back in. But you know what, to this day that soldier didn't ever tell the army he had it locked up because of the ghost, but he did tell his wife and she told me. <laughs> so that's how I know. Sorry guys, I forgot to vlog um, when I came home from school. I uh, just finished uploading. I'm not uploading, making uh, another Q&A. Make sure to send your comments down below over there um, and I'll answer them on my main channel in the next video. So, um, yeah, as I said at the start of this little thing, um, I'm sorry that I didn't um, vlog on the bus trip home. My battery went flat, I had to recharge it. It was there wasn't much exciting happened, you were just driving two hours, so 